We were actually really mellow. Uh, we felt that they had a handle on the fire. The Nakia Creek fire near Larch Mountain has now been burning for a week, but the fire more than doubled in size Sunday, fueled by dry, windy conditions. It's burning about nine miles north of Camas, where Stephanie Warren owns a farm. She's been keeping an eye on the fire, ready to move her family and animals. We had been saying a few days ago, as long as the winds don't pick up, we should be okay. It's but Mother Nature had other plans, and the winds did pick up. That pushed the fire to break containment lines Sunday, forcing new evacuation orders. Now we were told that we're in the um, get set stage, get prepped. And a lot of it is also an abundance of caution. There are folks who are a little closer in and they've expanded that level three evacuation area and the two in the level one. Sharon Steridi with the Washington State Department of Natural Resources says no structure has been damaged so far. As of Sunday night, about 2,900 homes are under level three go now orders. State officials estimate 35 to 40,000 homes are impacted, either under a be ready, get set, or go now evacuation orders. We had already been prepped with kind of personal belongings in a go bag, but um, I just felt the time that it takes to offload farm animals, we needed to start getting them, getting them gone now. Sunday afternoon, Stephanie gathered her animals, from pigs to donkeys, I'll give you apples at their house. And friends with trailers helped her pack up and head to safety. Well, we're just going to get out of the farm and then my husband will stay here along with a few other neighbors to just until it's time to actually go. And we've got the trailer loaded up with personal belongings. While livestock are headed to the Clark County Fairgrounds for refuge, the Red Cross opened a shelter for evacuees at a church in Camas on Northeast Birch Street. As for Stephanie, she's thankful to be headed to a safer area, grateful for those lending a hand to make it happen. We have a very great community of friends, and I'm very thankful that um, they've come out to help us move these animals.